men across the front for Carolina. Brandon Cox from his own end zone. Underneath flag on the play for the 5 to the 10 to 15. Smith with the catch and run. I believe that's a flag down at the 5-yard line. To Brandon Cox. From inside his own 10, he fires up the middle. Caught! And that's Lee Guess making the catch at the 27-yard line. I think he got just enough for the first down. And Cox sneaks it ahead, and he should have it. South Carolina says no, but from up top, it looks like a first down. Yes, it is. Rod Smith, the receiver over here, play action for Cox. Deep down the middle of the field, he's got a man. That is Rod Smith at the 40, and inside the 40 to the South Carolina 36-yard line. Stoney Woodson with the stop. Another, no, this time a play action. And a little dump underneath the trot at the 30 near sideline 25. Makes a man miss and gets two, three extra yards. Hard, tough run in there after initial contact. Here's Brandon Cox. Play action. I think they're going to look for Taylor. Now Cox flushed out of there. They'll find Trot at the 15. He's inside the 10 near sideline and out of bounds at the nine yard line. Jordan Lindsay. With the stop, Cox takes the deep snap. Little play action. Fires it in the middle. Tipped up and incomplete. They were trying to get it, I think, to Prichet Rodriguez. Yep. Shiver with the snap. Placed by Motley. Vaughn with the kick, and he nailed it. 17-10. to 10, Auburn on top. 6.22 to go. Auburn used a lot of time. They wanted six, but they got points. First half of play. All right, Clark. And it's an onside kick. Popped up in the air. Smith can't hold on. Ball on the ground. I think Auburn got it at the 48. I think Auburn got it at the 48. They tried to pop it up. Trey Smith was the man who was going to catch it. But then Gerard Powers got in there and got it. Courtney Taylor to the right, play action. They're going to dump it underneath. It's caught at the 45-50, 45-40, and now to the 35, Courtney Taylor. The left is Robert Dunn. Knocks the throw. With time, over the middle, through the hands of Dunn, incomplete. Should have had it. A little bit behind him, but still a catchable ball. Going to try and field goal. I don't blame him. The wind is blowing so hard right now. They're going to go for it on fourth down and six. Oh, this is a big play. Tigers up by a touchdown with 4.25 to go in the third quarter. High backfield. will check that one man in the backfield, Irons. One man left. Down to four. Down to three on the play clock. They get the snap off to Granite Cox. He looks. Fires. Caught. That's done at the 22-yard line. He's got the first down. How about that, Stan? They go right back to the guy who just had one go through his hands, and Robert Dunn comes up big on fourth down. All right, here we go. Brandon Cox will line up in the shotgun. Irons flanking him to the left. Taylor in motion out here to the left side. Snap to Brandon. The junior looking, looking with time. He's got Taylor at the 15 to the 10. Stumbles ahead to the 8-yard line. First down, Auburn. Holy cow. And here is a toss to Irons. Slip the tackle. He's at the five. He's inside the five. He's down to the two. Third down and goal from the one. Give to Irons. And he's hit shy of the goal line. Someone came up. Jasper Brinkley and delivered a vicious, vicious, vicious shot that kept Irons out of the end zone. And it maybe picks up another foot. And it'll be fourth and goal as Auburn offensively had the football the entire third quarter. They only have three points to show for it right now, but are looking at fourth and goal from inside the one to start the fourth quarter. 
when we come back. 17 to 10, the Tigers on top as Auburn football continues in a moment. Maybe a foot and a half to go. Brandon Cox under center. They're going to give it to Irons. He leaps. He gets it in. Touchdown, Auburn! All he had to do was break the plane, and he, he, he chose to go over top in the air, and breaking the plane as long as you got possession is a touchdown. Ball broke the plane, but then came loose. All right, here's South Carolina in the shotgun. First time they've been on the field offensively in the second half, and a give up the middle on the draw across the 10 to the 13-yard line. Line up under center, five-man front for Auburn. Short drop, quick pass, and McKinley with a nice pat, uh, catch coming over the middle at the 40-yard line, and that's a first down. Most of the night tonight, deep snap to Newton. Down the middle, wide open, Cook touchdown. There what the man within five or 10 yards of it. Boy, that was, he was wide open on the seam route right down the middle of the field. Two receivers left, one right. Give to Irons. Over the right side, get to the corner, 25, and pull down from behind as he stays inbounds at the 27-yard line. In the backfield to block. Quick screen, caught at the 35, and brought down at the 37 by Eric Brock, the South Carolina receiver over there. Under center this time, and they'll throw it low for McKinley incomplete. That pass poorly underthrown there. Keep the ball and good chance to win. Snap to Newton, quick pass out here, caught and out of bounds by Sidney Rice at the 46 yard line. Shotgun snap to him, fakes right, throws deep down the middle of the field. He's got Cook off the fingertips incomplete. A pass that should have been caught for a touchdown. Shotgun snap, here comes the blitz. Newton will throw it away, out of bounds, far sideline. Tight end position. McKinley, out of the shotgun, throws it right, and it is almost intercepted at the 10-yard line by Aaron Savage. Pass was overthrown, intended for Rice. play clock takes the snap on third down looks right throws into the end zone for rice and it is tipped away incomplete in the end zone receivers right two to the left in the shotgun newton he'll take the snap Drops back from his own 32, throws right side, and it is caught at the 14-yard line, short of the first down, I believe. I don't think he got it. He got a great spot. It's going to be very, very close. Newton takes the deep snap. Here comes pressure off the end, and finally they get him down at the 15-yard line. Quinton Groves pulls him down back behind the 15. They need seven to tie. High snap, Newton pulls it down, he'll lob it up for the end zone, and it is incomplete! Deflected away by Patrick Lee in the near corner, and Auburn looks like they may survive. Holy cow, they went to Rice in the near corner, and Patrick Lee went up, knocked it away. 